All right, we want to take you now to our exclusive story on KTN Weekend Prime tonight. The deputy of Burundi's former intelligence chief of staff and coup leader, General Godfroy Niombare, is telling President Pierre Corinzinza to prepare for war. General Leonard Ngenda Kumanda says he and his team have no intentions whatsoever of attending the East African Leaders Summit meeting in Dar es Salaam tomorrow to discuss the crisis in Burundi. What's more, the general says he has no apologies to make over the recent grenade attacks in the capital Bujumbura, for which he takes full responsibility. He spoke exclusively to our very own special projects editor, John Alan Namu, a little earlier today in an exclusive interview. So what was the problem? Why do you think that you needed to have organized a coup and why, how did you organize it? There was a need to organize uh, that coup uh, to make a change in the country because uh, the situation was very bad and uh, we, have, uh, we have noticed that uh, Mr. Nkurunziza and uh, his team uh, were leading the country uh, in a situation of a civil war and uh, we could not accept that uh, our, our population, our country is led into a civil war. But that didn't happen after May the 13th. Uh, what went wrong? It is not because uh, Nkurunziza and uh, his team uh, were stronger than us. Uh, I, I mean uh, it doesn't mean that within defense and security uh, services, there are a, a small number of uh, followers uh, who understand our cause. Uh, but uh, it has been uh, a kind of uh, misunderstanding. Was this an overestimation of the amount of loyalty that you had both in the defense forces and in the police, the, the tools that you need to be able to take this coup? Because Pierre Nkurunziza was able to leave the country and come back safely and ostensibly rule. He's now a few days away from uh, a general election, which by all, in, by all indications, he, he looks like he's going to win. We were 12 uh, generals of national army and national police. Also, we had the Minister of Defense uh, behind us. So uh, we were sure of success, uh, despite that situation of betrayation uh, of the Minister of Defense who accepted money from the president, uh, who called him. Uh, the Minister of Defense uh, called the president when he was in Dar es Salaam, telling him that the coup was ongoing, and he negotiated money from the president. And when he got money, he, uh, he gave uh, counter orders, and uh, that uh, caused it, uh, our failure. Pierre Nkurunziza claims a lot of loyalty and to the world outside of Burundi it seems that way if a man is able to come back from the brink of a coup and still hold, um, still hold elections, we've just concluded parliamentary elections in Burundi in 10-11 days there's going to be a presidential election that looks like, this, that looks like to the rest of the world that this man is in control of the army he's in control of the police how confident are you that this isn't the case. How can you calm loyalty within uh, defense and security forces when we have already 12 generals against you uh, and a big number of uh, colonels, senior officers? And uh, I, can say, I can tell you that when, when we were organizing uh, that coup, uh, that team was organizers and we knew that behind us there must be, there might be a, a followers within defense and security forces. Yes. General Niombare has been fairly silent after the, the failed coup of 13th May. Where is he? Is he now the leader of the organization that would ostensibly like to go back into power? Yeah, Where is of he now? Course he's, he's in the country. We are together. He's We're still in? fighting. Yes. Yes. He is in Burundi. Of course. There's a price on his head. Do you, um, it seems fairly unbelievable that he would be in the same country that he's being searched for. No, mm -hmm. it is not true. Because uh, I came from Burundi, I let him there, and I'm still getting orders from him. All right. Yes. Tomorrow there are going to be discussions in Arusha um, yes. with regard to what's happening in Burundi, trying to find an amicable solution um, as the date of the elections nears. Yes. Now we know that uh, Pierre Nkurunziza and his government will not be attending those talks. Yes. Um, is General Niombare sending any representatives? Are you going to be his representative at the talks? Or are you done talking? 
with the Nkurunziza government? First, uh, let's tell you uh, one thing. Mr. Nkurunziza was absent in the last summit. And uh, if he's absent in uh, the next summit, the, the tomorrow's summit, doesn't surprise me because I know what is going on in the country. It's a plan of Nkurunziza, but mainly a plan of uh, Adolf Shimilimana. They are engaged in a war, in a civil war, and uh, based on ethnic divisions. Mm -hmm. And they want to engage also the region in that civil war based on uh, ethnics because they want to start of, uh, by breaking the constitution, by breaking the Arusha uh, co uh, reconciliation and uh, peace agreement, because they want to keep them on the top of uh, the, the, the management of the country, uh, fearing of being judged mm -hmm. internally or uh, externally, because uh, they've done so many crimes They've done so, so many crimes, uh, economically, uh, human rights violations, and then they are protecting themselves. They found uh, tactics to just to, 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 to move their members, uh, Rungi Party members and some others behind them, and uh, they are trying to, to, to move to war, towards uh, an open war, an open civil war, just to find a way to protect themselves. But, but uh, others, they don't know that. They don't know that, and they, they are following. But you're alive today, and the parliamentary... Yeah, fortunately. Yes, and, and yes. the parliamentary um, elections have just concluded, albeit with grenade attacks in different polling stations. Who was responsible for that? After we saw that we could not succeed uh, our coup on uh, the 10 May, uh, we found uh, it, was, uh, it was necessary to keep fighting so that uh, we can um, push Nkurunziza to think, to, to, to keep thinking about what he's doing and uh, maybe to see if he can, uh, he can just resign and uh, say, I cannot uh, continue moving for the third term. But when he saw that uh, he's not in the way of uh, stopping, we organized ourselves so that we can keep fighting him. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that's why all those actions uh, ongoing in the country, uh, we are behind them. And uh, our intention is to intent intensify them uh, until that Peter Nkurunziza understand that uh, we are there to make him understand by force that he has uh, to give up his uh, third term. He doesn't look like he's going to give up that uh, term. Yeah. In fact, it's, it's less than a fortnight away um, yes. to that election. And you've, right, you've said that uh, you're going to intensify uh, your efforts. What does that mean? Does that mean an open civil war in Burundi? We are obliged because, you see, uh, from the time uh, Nkurunziza and his party said, it is only Nkurunziza that will represent us in next uh, presidential elections, there have been prote protestations, there have been uh, protestations in the, the streets. And then that was, uh, that was initiative of uh, the population to, to make Nkurunziza understand that people don't want of his uh, third term. Mm -hmm. And then after there have been initiatives of uh, region, uh, African Union, uh, United Nations, foreign countries, other organizations, they related to Bujumbura, to tell Kurunziza, please, don't go, don't, don't continue, don't continue moving to that term because it's a problem for your society, for your community, for, for your country. But uh, he refused. Uh, third, you can see that uh, the civil society, churches of Burundi, oh, they did their, their best. To, to advise Nkurunziza not to go for that term. He refused. So Pro protesters, war. protesters, yes, instead yes. of understanding their request, they've been killed, they've been massacred. So you can see what's next. The next is just to organize ourselves, uh, just to, to resist, just to, 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 to make Peter Nkurunziza understand that he must leave. Isn't and then that yes. we are preparing to do it 
by force, by organizing uh, a military force. Isn't there any other alternative to this? Because this is exact same reason why the Arusha talks um, took place all those years ago, that Burundi was able to emerge from that. Pian Kurunziza himself was called, I believe, that the negotiator, the, it, um, it, his nickname at that time at least. Isn't there, isn't there any other alternative other than an open conflict in Burundi that could spill into years and years of conflict and deaths of hundreds of thousands of people? On my point of view, I think Kurunziza is not ready to negotiate with anybody because, you know, uh, there have been uh, a mediator in, in, in Burundi uh, from uh, United Nations. Uh, he, he went. He, he, went, he went back. Uh, there is a new uh, mediator. He's doing nothing in Bujumbura because Kurunziza and uh, his followers, they refuse to negotiate with uh, the political parties, uh, opposition, and other, they refused. So, uh, if they refuse to negotiate and they continue killing people, they continue doing uh, what they want in the country, they violate the constitutions, they violate uh, all laws in the country. So, what next? What next? Do you think that there's ever going to be a day that you will return without there being a price on your head as there is now? I have to, to tell you that if you see me here, I'm only here for uh, one purpose of uh, this interview. Uh, otherwise, I'm coming from Burundi. I let uh, Godfrey Mbare, Major General in Burundi, we're fighting within the country. We must be there, stay there, uh, until we succeed, uh, uh, until we reach our goal. Until they succeed, until they reach their goal. That crisis in Burundi. It is quite a crisis and it seems to be ramping up, especially with just 10 days to go to that election. They do not seem to be wanting to take a backward step. Very worrying times yeah. indeed for uh, our neighbors um, in Burundi. We hope, of course, yeah. for the most peaceful resolution to what is going on in that country. And some very worrying statements from him there um, about what they're ready to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, to ensure that Nkurunzinza is no longer president. But we will continue to keep our eye on that issue and update you on what's happening in our neighboring country. But let's come 